Hey, best friends. Welcome to another edition of Storytime with Honest Teacher Vibes. And y'all, we got some juicy stories on today. So yes, I am in a hotel room, but it's because I am on the board teacher's comedy tour. And so this is I, this is my like time to relax before we do a show. And of course I was like, let's do a story time because these stories are hilarious. Teaching kindergarten during an observation, four of my 23 students pulled teeth out to the amazement of all the others in the class who then focused on pulling theirs out too. I could never be a kindergarten teacher. Like how, like kindergarten teachers, are y'all okay? That little PP shoelaces that you want me to tie? No, Ugh, time yourself, get some Velcro. Why are y'all observing in kindergarten, baby? Because what are you observing other than chaos? Okay. A student told a coworker of mine this week that she makes the demons tremble. <laughs> okay, so like, I got a couple of questions. Are y'all, like, is the student referring to themselves as a demon? Because, I mean, like, all I'm saying is, if she's talking about she make the demons tremble, are you referring to the students as demons? Or are you talking about a real demon? Because if you're talking about a real demon, we get other questions that need to be answered. Okay, now this is really funny. As a teacher, I feel like you gotta have your head on a swivel at all times, but sometimes things just happen and we just don't notice them. This teacher said, over the course of two days, without me noticing, one of my second graders removed the locks out of five drawers in my classroom. Two of my drawers are missing. The kid took them home with them. <laughs> okay, little James, fine. My co-teacher lifted up his computer and baby roaches went everywhere. Oh, no, no, no. I died a little inside as I sprayed everywhere. First of all, I would have been like Jesus in the temple flipping tables and I would have flipped that desk. If you happen to be sitting at the desk too, sir, that's on you because where these roaches come from? I fell while teaching refraction and reflection and a kid said, hey, miss, I didn't know we were learning about gravity today. Sh shut up. Shut up. Because now you got time to pay attention after I fail. Because you weren't paying attention just a minute ago. Shut up. I had two students decide that they were married. <laughs> they even fought in the classroom like a little old couple. They were sitting at my table working and the boy said to the girl, when we're at your house, you should be nicer to me and listen to your mom. The girl turns to him and whispers, we'll talk about this at home. <laughs> they were in third grade. Listen, best friend. Little, little baby boy best friend just go ahead and get out because she bossing you at third grade baby boy till she become an adult you really finna be boss bossed a kid went to microwave her yeti water bottle at lunch so i ran over to intercept it and explained that metal can't be microwaved <laughs> she said no i'm just microwaving the water i don't need the container to get hot girl i don't think that that works the way that you think it works about to set the whole school on fire the ceiling fell in the closet next to my room and my students didn't even blink. They was like, you know what? This school be falling apart all the time. At this point, we just used to it. I was at my desk when a student came up to ask a question. As I started talking, a fly flew into my mouth <laughs> straight toward the back of my throat. I coughed slash choked it out. Like, I can't work in these kind of conditions. Can y'all, can we get an exterminator? Like, why are bugs flying in my mouth? This ain't no Taylor Swift concert. 